and now we are uh, for this thing did what will happen if I do write means just R plus minus then this implies that R plus minus will come out to be this will become R because I will have to take square root of both sides then this will become R and this will become 1 plus and minus here okay this is the opposite of that one and d over r cos of the angle and this will become 1 over 2. So what about this implies that 1 over r means if I reciprocate this one plus minus then this is equal to 1 over r and this will become 1 minus plus d over r and cos of the angle and this will become minus half because I have just reciprocated this one then I can uh, use the uh, binomial expansion and the binomial expansion is basically giving me that 1 over means the binomial expansion Okay, binomial series 1 plus x raised to the power n this is approximately 1 plus nx and then there are other terms but we can ignore those terms f x is very very small so look here when this is d over r d over r cos theta is our x so r is greater than d so it means it is less cos theta is also means less than 1 so it will make it further less so I can utilize this approximation and I can write that this thing will then be equal to 1 over r and then 1 and this is minus plus but this one is minus this is n which will multiply it with this one so it will also become plus minus means it will with this minus the order will change and then d this 1 over 2 will be multiplied so d over 2 r and cos of the angle so here we are having this relation and now I am in a position to calculate the term this one 1 over r plus minus 1 over r minus so 1 over r plus minus 1 over r minus will become here this one when the order is now the same when it is plus here then we will have this one so this is 1 over r and 1 plus d over 2 r and cos of the angle minus 1 over r and this will be 1 minus d over 2 r and cos of the angle so this thing will come out to be 1 over r we can take is common so 1 over r here and then we are left with this one so 1 plus d over r d over 2 r d over 2 r and cos of the angle and minus minus this one and this will become minus 1 and minus minus become plus and we are having d over means this become 2 on here and cos of the angle so here we are having some cancellation because 1 and 1 will cancel and then d over 2 r cos of theta and d over 2 r cos of theta will become d over r cos of theta so this thing is equal 
to 1 over r and then it will become d over r and cos of theta. So this will come out to be d over r squared and cos of theta. So I got v of r equal v of r is equal to q over 4 pi q over 4 pi epsilon naught and then for 1 over r plus minus 1 over r minus I got d over d over r square and cos of theta. So I can write this one is v of r this is equal this is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught and then qd over r squared and cos of theta. So this is our final result and we will write here approximate symbol because we have approximated the things in this solution. Now here 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught and 1 over r q over r this is basically our previous result q over r. And when we consider a dipole, then we see that this is 1 over r square and q d means it has come out to be 1 over r square. Now if I look at the dimensions of this one, the dimensions of that and this are the same because this is d. d is uh, in meter and we are having r square. So it means meter over meter square so one meter dimension is cancelling and again it is q over this this is dimensionless so we are having the dimensions the same but for this geometry it came out that the because d is fixed here with us r is the distance which is varying and as we go far from this one from this ge geometry are from this distribution of charges then this will fall much quickly like for example I am having the R here in this R in this direction and then V of R in this direction then I can see that the potential of this geometry the monopole term if it is falling like this 1 over r then the potential of the dipole it will fall is 1 over r square means much quicker than that one so this is 1 over r and this one is 1 over r square it will fall much quicker than the monopole term. Here in this result there are few things quite important here. One term is this QD which we will come to know in a while that this is basically a dipole moment. This Q is the charge and D is the distance and this is one of the parameter which we will use a lot in electrodynamics this QD has come in here and the angle what's the role the angle is playing here that if I consider the theta equal means the theta starts from here so it is at this point for example when we are along this line then what will happen when we are along this line then I can see that what theta will be because theta starts from here the observation point now here. So when the observation point is here 
then I will have the theta equal to zero. For theta equal to zero, I will have this term. Let me write it here. That what will happen when theta is equal to zero? Theta equal to zero means the observation point is just in line with the dipole. And what will happen? That cos the theta cos zero will come out to be one, and this will make this thing Q D over R square. It will be the maximum result that we have for V of R is one over four pi epsilon naught and Q D over R square. Now what will happen? That when the observation point is just below here, and then we are having theta equals to 180. Now, as cos theta is an even function, so cos theta cos minus theta is the same cos theta, but when it is uh, cos 180, then we will have the minus symbol with this one. When theta is equal to 180, the observation point reaches here. I mean it starts from here and it reaches here. So we will have 180 degree and 180 degree will do what? Cos theta will become minus 1 here. So we will have the introduction of minus sign here. Now what does these two basically mean? This means that uh, this is somehow like this one that when you are having this v of r 1 over 4 phi epsilon naught and then this q is plus minus q d like here in r square it's something like this that when the theta is 0, we are having plus q over this one and when theta is 180, it behaves like minus q because minus sign is introduced here. So when we are just above this one, the observation point is just above this one, then it is only seeing the plus q charge here and we are not seeing the effect of minus charge, the minus charge distribution there. So we are having plus Q here and when this is over here, the observation point is at 180 degree, then we are here and we are seeing only the negative charge and its dipole moment comes in here QD and we are not seeing the effect of that plus charge here and that's why it comes out to be this. Now the question is, what will happen when this theta will become 90 degree. Look here. When the theta will become 90, means the observation point comes exactly at the midpoint here. So at this point, theta is exactly means it is 0 here, it is some angle here, and it reaches 90 here, it reaches 180 here. So when the angle is exactly 90, then we will have the V of R equal to 0 because cos 90 is 0 and when this is the situation then why we are having 0 potential because the reason for this thing is that R minus and R plus will come out to be the same we when this r plus and r minus comes out to be the same then this will come out to be zero that's the reason we are exactly at the midpoint and we at this observation point we are receiving the same plus potential and the same minus potential and that's why the total potential will come out to be zero here or the net potential will come out to be zero at the midpoint when we are going toward plus more, then the, country, the um, potential will become more positive there. When we are coming here, the potential will be becoming more negative. And 
when we are having the dipole geometry then the potential will fall is 1 over r square dimensionally this is fine the potential is just 1 over r but is when d is introduced here so this is a fix q is fixed d is fixed while this thing is varying so we say that the potential varies is 1 over r square